Good day, folks, and welcome back. So I do have to apologize for the start of this video. Um, <laughs> had a bit of a technical failure with my microphone, so I lost all the audio. What I'm gonna do now is just do a voiceover for the first uh, 30 seconds to a minute, just to give the intro on this video. Well, I've been missing in action for a, close to a month now, and uh, I've gotta say it's good to be back. In this video today, we're at, at Lake Lyle. On the agenda is just an overnight camp and uh, a kayak fishing session for those who've been following me for quite some time that uh, freshwater fishing is something that's quite a bit of a challenge for me so today i'm hopefully going to try to break my duck and see if we can get onto some fish now i won't elaborate on what we're targeting um, as yet until we actually land one so as for now there's a bit of a paddle and uh we'll suss out a fishy spot Okay, this spot here looks pretty tranquil. There's a few snags along the shore and it's out of the breeze. So uh, my bait should hold position quite nicely. I won't anchor at this stage because there's no current, but uh, if I feel the need to, I will. Let's pop this soft plastic. Yeah, so, um, style of fishing I'm doing today is uh, going to be using some soft plastics along with bait. It's not a big one, but still a good start. Okay, so here we go. Here you have a redfin perch. Look at the colours. It's a beautiful looking fish. Now just to elaborate on this fish, um, as I mentioned earlier, these are definitely not a catch and release. There's no bag limit or size limit to these because they're considered a pest in our waterways and it's illegal to actually um, transport these around in the country, but they're very good tucker. Now it's not the first time I've actually caught one of these, but uh, it will be today, if I do a catch and cook with this, it'll, be the, it'll definitely be the first time I've eaten one of these. So I'm curious to see what it tastes like. This guy's a little bit small, but um, I'm not going to release him until I'm going to do the right thing. Because uh, the more of these you take out of the waterways, it actually helps uh, the waterway. So we'll, we'll unhook this guy. I'll put him on a string. And uh, take a few fillets off, off of him later. We'll see what it tastes like. Now, now this guy took the worm bait. Uh, Alright, red fin number two. Wow, this one's much redder than the other one. So we're eating red fin today. Red fin number three. This one was just right on the lip.
Okay, so I'm all fished out now. It's about time we head on back to camp. And uh, as for today, the result so far is three fish. Not too bad for a novice at fresh water. And as for now, the wind's just about picking up and I'm going against it as well, so uh, this could be a bit challenging. So we're back at camp now and that was some paddle I mean, the wind picked up <laughs> it made it really challenging so as for now I've got a few hours of daylight left uh, we'll set up camp and we'll knock out some tea okay so camp's all set up so I'll just show you um, my setup for today this is going to be home for the next night just right down here that's the fire pit and uh, it's my table and chair where we're going to be knocking up my dinner and just over here the GoPro is picking it up so I've got my portable water supply a good mate of mine knocked this up for me it's an ingenious invention basically it's just a PVC tradies pipe and uh, we've attached a tap and there we go Got water on demand. And the tent's just set up here on top of the tray because um, the ground's not very flat. So it's quite spartan, my setup today, but um, nonetheless, it's going to be quite comfortable. So as for now, stuck in the fire on and we'll knock up some dinner. Uh, all ruddy while there's still some natural light. I'm going to prepare tonight's dinner so i haven't mentioned what i was going to be making today um onto the menu tonight is a hobo's dinner and um, probably would have seen it in one of my early camp cooking videos basically a uh, hobo's dinner is just any meat you wrap it up in the foil parcel with um, whatever condiments you like and uh, bung it straight onto the coals and it's uh, a very efficient way of cooking while you're out in the camp spot you don't have to bring too much gear and um, the other dish that's on the menu tonight is these redfin perch now um, they do grow a lot larger than these um, I think they got to about two kilos however these fish um, are considered as a pest in our waterways so there aren't any uh, bag limits or size limits on these yeah that's so that's what happens when you introduce a species um, it's just like the carp yeah. yeah so with these red fin the skin is very tough best way to prepare it is to take the fillets off because there's no way you're able to scale them Fill it there. I'll leave the rib bones in because they're very small fillets, so if I was to trim it off, there'll be bugger all left. Right, all well, the prep work's done. It's time to roll up the, the parcels. So, the lamb will be a hobo's dinner, and um, what I plan to do with the 
red bean perch fillet is just fry them up with a bit of olive oil and just keep it as simple as possible because I want to see what they really taste like. So for the hobo's dinner, into this foil parcel, just bung in a bit of olive oil down the bottom first. I'll give it a layer of onion. Ash just some chopped onions there. Top it up with some more onions and then finish it off with another splash of olive oil. Okay, so just a bit of seasoning. I've got this um, barbecue seasoning, four different types of flavors. Uh, I've got a piri piri, lemon pepper, barbecue Texas, and steak and chops. I think I'll go with the piri piri. Shake some of that on there. Right, so all that's left to do is we just carefully roll this up now i'm not sure if these ducks are protected <laughs> but it's looking very good it's looking very good for a catch and cook duck Nothing to be in safe, so we'll just keep them off the menu. Okay, so while we're waiting for the coals to um, die down, so we can cook our tea, I'm going to knock up the red fin perch fillets uh, just as an entree. And now uh, let's see what they taste like. Yeah, so the oil should be hot now. And um, these fillets I haven't done anything, <laughs> haven't added its seasoning or marinade. Just want to taste them on its natural form. Woo. Mm. Smells good. All right, let's see what it tastes like. I'm not going to eat my non-stick pan because I don't want to scratch it. So we carefully just take the, the fillets out. I think I'll um, go with the barbecue seasoning mix on this. Best to describe it, if you've had leather jacket, the texture is very similar. It's actually sweeter than leather jacket and it holds quite firm too. But it is... Uh, okay folks, let's do it again. <laughs> I had to get out of the smoke. That smoke was just killing me. I'd highly recommend the red bin perch and um, when you go catch them you're actually doing our waterways a lot of good because you're removing the you're removing a pest out of the water and a good tucker too mm. thoroughly enjoying this it's cooked to perfection it's not overcooked it's gonna be close up there see how white and flaky it is and I haven't uh, marinated I've just slightly lightly seasoned it and you can taste the true taste of the fish. Mm. Okay, so now we continue eating this. 
as we wait for the coals to die down and um, next up will be the main course. Now we'll let it do its thing for about 20 minutes and it should be time to eat. Alrighty. So that's been about 20 minutes and I think dinner is ready. to eat. Now let's unveil the parcel. Ooh. Ooh, the parcel. Okay, so. so the parcel is just spuds. Oh. Oh, yeah. That looks sensational. Zoom it in there for a bit of a close up there. Yeah, so these spuds were just parboiled and into the parcel with a bit of olive oil and some seasoning. I've been chomping at the bit for this moment because I'm starving. Mmm. These lamb cutlets cooked to perfection, nice and tender. That's sensational. So, Lake Lyle, it's only a two and a half hour drive from Sydney. Awesome campground and not a bad fishing spot <laughs> as I've proven to myself today. Um, I've been here probably half a dozen times but um, the fishing for myself has only been so-so. Other people seem to catch fish. Um, but I suppose you've got to just persevere and uh, Redfin too, it's an awesome fish. Get out there and give it a go. So that's for now folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna wrap this up and uh, kick back, enjoy my dinner and call it a night. And until the next video, bye for now.